My name is Tiffany. Thank you for joining me today at the San Francisco YMCA Classrooms for All. Our activity today are what I like to call crazy spins. <laughs> and you can see we have some awesome decorative spoons that we are going to be creating ourselves. And I'm going to walk you through the steps of how I like to do it and um, some tips and tricks for you to be able to do this at home and with your friends, families, adults, anyone that you care and want to spend some awesome crafting time with. Before we get started with this activity, I'm going to walk you through a few safety things that we need to have in, in place before we get started. First, because we're using a tool that gets extremely hot, we want to have some safety goggles. This is going to keep your eyes protected and anytime we're using any substance that's burning and wood, you always want to cover your eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and put those on. And secondly, I have long hair, so if you have long hair, please pull it back behind your face because we don't want our eyes getting blocked at any point throughout this activity. So tie that up and then you're also going to want to have some gloves. This is a very important step because this tool does get hot, as I said, and if your hand slips, you just have the gloves there to keep your hands safe and protected. So, we'll put those on in a minute. The other material that you're gonna want is some type of surface so that you're protecting your work area. So I have a cooking tray, very simple, and I lined it with aluminum foil, just as an extra precaution because I do use this pan to cook with, and I don't want any of the debris from whatever might fall off from the wood or the ash onto my cooking tray. So, next thing you're gonna want is a pencil. You don't have to have this, but if you'd like to draw a picture on your spoon beforehand, you'll want this around. <laughs> you're also gonna want a wooden spoon. Um, this is a bamboo kitchen utensil. I got this in a variety pack from a home store. You can get these any home store that sells cooking utensils, cooking supplies, as well as online, you can buy these. The most important tool that we have today is our wood burner. This is a very cool tool, but you also have to be extremely safe with it. This particular wood burner gets very hot from the handle up to the tip of the top right here. So any of this surface is going to be extremely, extremely hot. So whenever you're holding your wood burner, you're going to want to keep your hand down on the handle. Don't go up here because you could burn your hands. All right? Now that we have our safety protocols in place, we have our goggles on, we have our gloves on, and we have our workstation set up. Go ahead and put that spoon right on your tray. Now we can begin our activity, nice and safely. So go ahead and take your wood burner, and as I said earlier, make sure you're holding that wood burner right on the handle. Everything past this handle, the metal will all get extremely hot. Nobody wants to burn themselves. So be extra careful how you hold your wood burner. So I'm gonna hold it like this. This is pretty comfortable for me. You're gonna also hold it above like this, whichever one you prefer. So I'm gonna hold mine like a pencil. And then I'm just gonna trace over my picture that I drew on there. And go ahead and get started. I think I'm going to do a really unique picture. And just hold the spoon down as an extra precaution. Sometimes it can slip whenever you're putting pressure on it, so if you hold that down with um, whichever hand you're not using your wood burner with, hold it nice down, um, hold it nice and tight down onto your tray. Sometimes it takes a little bit of a time to get that wood burner to burn through, but the longer you hold it, the more it will burn. So I'm just going to rotate my spoon around a little bit, 
so that I can get this angle a little bit better. And as you burn through your wood, remember that this is wood and that this wood burner is going to let off a little bit of smoke. So if you have a little bit of trouble with that smoke, just step back a little bit and don't lean right over top of that. Make sure you're always in a well ventilated area as well because this smoke sometimes can be irritating and we don't want that. <laughs> so, go around. And just remember that any surface you touch with this burner will change the color. So it's gonna darken anytime you burn it. So just be extra careful of your placement and the control that you have on your handle. And if you need some help, grab your adult that's nearby, and I'm sure they'll be here to guide you if you need it. All right, a little bit more. And take your time with this, guys. Get creative, have fun. You can do a really intricate detail, or you can do something really simple as dots, lines, stars, anything that you'd like. Just remember, the more lines that you have, the more challenging it might be. I'm just gonna go all the way around my edges. And I'm just using simple lines on mine. But it's, it turns out really cool. I mean, you can see how simple, just having lines around the edges and how creative and cool it can look. So you don't have to get too fancy. Just anything really works. I'm really liking this. This looks really cool. I'll rotate my spoon around. And remember, if there's an angle that's a little challenging, just try and rotate it and see which angle works best for you to accomplish that design. Be careful keeping your fingers away from that top. Always be mindful of your placement when you're using these. And remember, the longer you hold that wood burner down on your picture, the deeper that color is gonna be in the burn and the bigger the line is gonna be. So if you just want a really thin line, don't hold it down too long. And the same goes for the pressure. And the pressure I mean by how hard you're pushing down, that will change the color of your line as well. So really get a feel for it, you know, experiment. If you want to practice on a piece of wood, a random piece of wood before you use your spoon, you can do that. You can really take this a lot of different ways. You can use it on any type of wood. Can use it on any material like uh, or any wood kitchen spoon or wooden bowls or you know a random cool driftwood that you find on the ocean <laughs> you can get really creative with this and it's one of the reasons i love this tool so much is because the versatility you can you can do so many things with it you can draw your name <laughs> And I'm going to pause here for just a moment, being extra safe. I'm going to put my hair back up again. And then we're going to go back to it. Continuing your design until you're pleased, until you're done with it. I'm loving the way this is turning out, guys. This is looking so good. 
It's different than the other ones that I have. Oh. <laughs> Awesome. Okay, one more side. And remember, you can always go back over any line. You can make it darker or thicker. Okay, turn this around a little bit so I get a better grip on it. I come from this angle. There we go. All right, last one, guys. Awesome, I think I'm really happy with it. So I'm gonna take my wood burner, put it down on, this, on the stand. Extra precaution here, I'm gonna make sure that this knob is off. And I'm also gonna unplug it from the outlet. And then I'm gonna take off my gloves, make sure everything is cleaned up around you. And then you can admire your awesome crazy spoon activity. All right, thanks again for joining me today, guys. If you like this video and you wanna find more just like it, you can join us at San Francisco YMCA slash classes for all. See you next time, bye-bye. <laughs>